bring it closer to home now because ESCOM is officially launching the national transmission company South Africa. This is going to play a crucial role in ultimately the unbundling of the power utility. Uh, ESCOM CEO Dan Maruganya is currently addressing that gathering at their headquarters at Megawatt Park. Let's listen in. Globally, this kind of separation leads to a pathway to enhance competition and transparency in the sector. NTCSA's creation is a significant step towards modernizing South Africa's energy sector and ensuring energy security and attracting investments. In preparation for a competitive electricity market, ESCOM initiated an internal market simulation between ESCOM generation power stations and distribution. This allowed us to test market principles and also operations without exposing the parties to market risk. We are appreciative of the NTCS efforts as they ramp up and move faster in expanding the country's constrained power grid and enabling much needed renewable energy generation to be brought online. As ESCOM will also play a part in accelerating the reforms of the rules to enable a competitive energy market space. We will also play a part, as previously indicated, with the actions of growing our renewable portfolio, targeting just over 2 gigawatts of projects by 2030, introducing gas to power into our mix, and remaining at the core of driving our country's nuclear ambitions based on our expertise and proven track record spanning over 40 years. As we continue to collaborate in settling the unbundled NTCSA, our attention is fully on the unbundling of the distribution business and the generation entities towards our desired end state. And for that reason, gentlemen, I would like to again once more congratulate the NTCSA on this key milestone and wish them well as they travel towards establishing what this country so desires, which is a competitive landscape for energy security for all. Thank you very much. All right, a rather brief address there from the ESCOM CEO, Dan Marugange, as we watch the, the official launch of the National Transmission Company, South Africa. And in fact, there's a lot of context to the story. You might remember, of course, that there's been talks around unbundling ESCOM for quite some time. And this, if you like, is a milestone towards achieving that. The transmission company itself is meant to allow independent power producers, those are IPPs, to get plugged onto the grid, essentially, to augment ESCOM's own generation capacity and hopefully continue to stay for load shedding, which has been at bay now, well over half a year. Dan Maruganya there is speaking about ESCOM planning to grow their renewable portfolio. An important statement that because if we are to move to renewable energy, ESCOM is going to have to reimagine its own um, composition, for lack of a better term, if it's to phase out its coal-powered power stations and bring in more renewable energy, which certainly seems to be the drive and the call from activists the world over.